Oh, that's not original. Okay. Oh, okay. That makes sense. So, because I was going to say, there's blue. Blue right up there. Okay guys, I've been wanting to do this for a long time. Uh, this is a 1967 Ford Bronco. I bought this from my father-in-law four, 
four or five years ago. Thought I'd get it over here and go right to work, go to town working on it and getting everything fixed up on it, but uh, life gets in the way. So it's uh, been sitting here under our carport, and it used to have. It's got this. Uh, it had this uh, this soft top. It always, always, always charges the battery up, pumps foot feet a couple of times, fires right up. It's always been that way. So uh, I drove it a couple of times. Uh, the brakes had been worked on, but I think the brake lines are possibly clogged up. That's what I'm assuming. Because when you step on the brakes, it doesn't have power brakes, doesn't have power steering. Uh, when you step on the brakes hard, it jerks to the right real hard. So that's one of the first things I got to get figured out. What's causing that? Get that straightened out. Then I can start driving it. You know, and I'm not going to use it. I don't. It's not going to be a daily driver because I don't really. When I drive, it's for work, and that's. In another state, so it's gonna be fun. <laughs> it's just fun. Yeah, it'll be fun to run around town. You know, just little errands to the store and stuff like that. Just a little fun thing, and I'll fix it along the way. Eventually, you know, probably save up, get a good paint job on it. I think we have limbs. Yeah, we got limbs brushing on our uh, carport here. Yeah, that but, was windy with the limbs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I wanted to get that that soft top off because the soft top, if it was just a soft top, it wouldn't have been, it would kind of been okay. I didn't really like the look of it, but it had a plywood cover over the bed of the, of the Bronco that was, you know, it had vinyl on it and stuff. And then there was just a plywood sheet that actually sealed off the front to the back, which, you know, the mice and everything were having a field day running through there. So I wanted to get all that out. I would, once I get stuff going on it, I will put a back seat in it, put the spare tire carrier on it. These are all things I'm gonna have to buy because they weren't with it. But, you know, I've just got the top setting on here right now. I haven't, I haven't got in and started uh, getting it bolted down because there's gonna be some aligning that has to do. I am going to take these off, but I haven't taken them off yet because there's going to be holes here. So I'll probably go ahead and take them off and and grind those off, grind it down. I'll probably go ahead and put some body filler in it just to seal the holes up. So we'll get those off of there, you know, redo some of the weather stripping. Surprisingly, the seats are in good. Yeah. They're not. Uh, Looks good. Yeah, it's still full of junk. I mean, not junk junk but it's there dirty. is it's okay it's yeah all this is gonna have to come out so we can clean it all out and get it get everything fixed up like it needs to be but it's a six cylinder three on the tree so in today's society it's almost uh theft proof because nobody knows how to drive the standard everything in here is pretty much factory with the exception of the little radio that they put in with the speaker i'll take that out but rolled over, miles and rolled over, so I don't know how many miles it's got on it, but it's got the little Ford six-cylinder. This thing will probably run forever, and if it's geared right, these things will pull a house. My dad used to sell, he actually was selling Ford vehicles when these came out, and he said the 300, I think it's, I don't know if it's the 306 or not. But he said the six cylinders that came in these were almost as as strong and as fast as the uh, the 289s. I think is what they came with, or 302s. What they came with, they were almost the same powerful. But I mean, there's different things that are missing. The the windshield washer bag is deteriorated and gone. Uh, I will probably in the future plans I'll probably go ahead and put the, the power brakes on it uh, I don't know about trying to put the power steering on it but we'll get that done there's just little things that I'd like to do along the way 
go ahead and you know get a good paint job on it because this paint job is uh is seen its better day yeah it's getting pretty bad somebody stuck this hood scoop on there i don't know why they did that but you know we'll get rid of that and fill the holes uh mm -hmm. originally the windshield could lay forward but i think the latch that if it, I don't know if it's even under there or not. We'll have to we'll get this off. We'll look and see if the latch. I don't think it is, but this up here. You can, yeah, it's pretty rusted. But you can lay the windshield forward and hook that up, hook it to drive around with the windshield off. You can still see you know the hinges there. Oh yeah. Uh it's just a it's just a fun little toy to run around in but it's getting flipped off and it's starting to starting to rust so I know the rocker panels on both sides I'm gonna have to buy new ones of those and and uh, I don't know if the owner of the weld in but just little things just do it along do it as I go because both of our boys have very fond memories of running around in Colorado with with the in-laws up there so <clears throat> they've already informed me that this will never leave the family. <laughs> my wife said something about using it to run around here farm on farm vehicle. A farm vehicle and they both emphatically said no way. No way that got shot down. <laughs> so <laughs> that's that's what we're doing. I mean it's it's just a thing that I'll be able to tinker with whenever uh time permits but uh, it's a cool little toy I'll have it here to work on if I ever get to retire I'll have something to work on in my retirement years <laughs> <laughs> but among yeah. other things yeah but it's just a cool little deal and then you know the family memories that we've had of this up in Colorado and then me knowing the previous owner uh, I never knew his son but I knew the previous owner and uh, it's just uh, something cool to have. So we're just gonna keep working on it. As I uh, get things, change things or fix things, we'll, uh, we'll update you, but for right now, this is where we're at. So we'll talk to y'all later. And it is still hot here in Oklahoma. Oh my gosh. So hot. All right, see you guys. <laughs>